We are so glad that you can join us for this service in which we are going to spend time in remembering loved ones who are no longer with us this Christmas. We come to God with our mix of emotions, knowing that God cares for us. When the one we love becomes a memory, that memory becomes a treasure to hold on to. We thank God for those memories and ask him at this time to protect us and our loved ones. In the Salvation Army, we describe one who believes in Jesus and has died as being promoted to glory. They are now safe in the loving arms of Jesus, out of suffering and pain. Revelation 22 says, The Lord will give them light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Nothing in life can prepare us for the death of a loved one. Whether death results from a sudden accident or a sustained illness, it always catches us off guard. Death is so deeply personal and yet so stunningly final that nothing can emotionally prepare us for its arrival. With every death, there is loss. And with every loss, there will be grief. And grief doesn't come and go in this orderly, confined time frame. So just when we think the pangs of anguish have subsided, another wave sweeps in and we are forced to revisit the memories, the pain, the fear. And sometimes we try to resist the demands of grieving. We long to avoid it. We fight against the currents, terrified of being overwhelmed, of being discovered, of becoming lost in our own brokenness. Culture tells us to move past this process quickly. Yet grief, as painful a season as it is, is a necessary part of our healing. To run from grief is to run away from the very thing that can quell the pain of our loss. Jesus himself said in the Gospel of Matthew, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. For most of us, the hardest part about losing someone isn't having to say goodbye. Rather, it is learning to live without them and learning to live with the void they leave behind. We don't really get over grief. We learn to rebuild around it. We are reminded of our loved ones who have passed on by little things such as an empty chair, their favourite sweets and family photographs. But we know at special times of the year, such as Christmas and birthdays, it is sometimes really hard without them. The Bible tells us that what we see around us is only temporary. We as humans are only temporarily on earth. And although that at first glance might sound negative, it only highlights the eternal nature of love. Love never ends. The love that we shared with loved ones can never be stolen away from us. God made it everlasting and eternal. And that brings hope. Although our loved one cannot chat to us over a cup of tea or hold our hand, love never fails. In that we can have joy. You see, joy and happiness are not the same thing. Joy is that assurance of love. It is the assurance that Jesus Christ is walking beside us and upholds us throughout all circumstances of life. So whether you have lost someone just recently or even before 2020, you are very welcome to take time in this service to be with God and to share with him. This video service has some beautiful carols and songs, some lovely poems and certainly beautiful Bible readings designed to calm and to soothe our aching souls. In our pain, we come in remembrance and quiet worship. The Welsh word kutch is a beautiful word. 
It's a loving cuddle, if you like, a kutch. And this is a kutch from us to you this Christmas time. So take time out in quiet worship to draw near to God because we believe as Christians when we draw near to him, he will draw near to us. The Psalms help us in so many ways when it comes to day-to-day -day living and can help us to see how much God cares for us. Psalm 38 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Similarly, Psalm 147 reminds us that He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God is our refuge and strength, says Psalm 46, a very present help in trouble. My heart says, how great is our God. Dear God, you know our hearts. You know the sadness that fills them. You recognise how our grief at times pushes all other emotions aside and weighs heavily on us. See us, God. 
Hear us, God. We thank you for the life of our loved ones who are no longer with us, however short or long those lives were. We pray for your healing of our sadness and grief. Come place your loving arms around us. Guide us to find ways to cope with loss that will renew our souls and refill our hearts with your eternal love. Amen. Life is just a stepping stone, a pause before we make it home, a simple place to rest and be until we reach eternity. Everyone has a life journey, a path to take with lots to see. God guides our steps along the way, but we were never meant to stay. Our final destination is a place filled with love, his majesty and grace. 
Now we celebrate the life of a loved one who has gone before us, the race they have won. Their journey has now ended. Their spirit has ascended, claiming the great reward with Jesus, our Lord. The stars are brightly shining It is the night of our dear Savior's birth Long lay the world in sin and never pining Till He appeared and the soul from Revelation chapter 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne, saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death 
or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Amen. Echoing the words of Hosea, Paul writes in his second letter to the Christian, Corinthian church, Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? You see, for the Christian, the death of the body is not the end. As C.S. Lewis, the famous writer, said, You do not have a soul, you are a soul. You have a body. The soul is eternal. And God wants to be in relationship with each one of us. That is why death has no power or victory. That is why death has no sting anymore. Christ came to allow us direct access to the Father who cares for each one of us. No restrictions. Jesus said in the Gospel of Luke, People will come from the east and from the west from the north and from the south, and will take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Do not let your hearts be troubled, says Jesus Christ in the Gospel of John. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, 
that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. This is why we can have hope. Grief is a temporary situation. Eternity awaits. Reuniting awaits. He has prepared a place for you and for me. Heavenly Father, I am grateful for your eternal presence. I am learning to be patient and that you are really there. Sometimes I am afraid and I know that's lacking faith but i'm beginning to understand that for me you have a plan heavenly father i am grateful for you sending your son to die so that i and for never giving up I'm learning every day That I won't always have my way But I'm beginning to understand That for me you have a plan lives on and cherished memories never fade because a loved one's gone. Those we love can never be more than a thought apart for as long as there is memory they live on in the heart. Let's pray. O oh Lord hear our prayer and grant us peace that passes all understanding. Show us the way to the throne so that we may sit at your feet and know your abiding comfort. Let the wellspring of joy raise up from our hearts until it overflows. Lead us to the garden of peace. Let us hear the songs of praise in our heart and know the peace within our soul once more. Amen. Thank you for spending time with us today. We pray that you will feel the love and peace of God this Christmas time. Philippians says, The Lord is near. Have no anxiety. Christ came at Christmas time to show his love to each and every one of us. He came to experience what we experience, to feel what we feel. He experienced the pain of losing his best friend Lazarus. But Christmas time was only the beginning. 
Jesus came to soothe the pain we feel, to put balm on our wounds and bring each of us before the Father. Jesus' death and resurrection made it possible for all those who call upon his name to be saved and to live with him eternally. This is why the Apostle Paul says in Romans 8, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This Christmas time, may we all know the joy of salvation, which only comes from Jesus our Lord and Saviour. May God bless you. For those who've passed on and are in the loving care of Jesus Christ, strife and sorrow is over. The Lord's true faithful soldiers have been called from the ranks below to the conquering host above. We at Cumbran Salvation Army extend our warmest love and our care to you this Christmas time. And we pray that you will know the truth of God's love in your heart this day. Draw close to him and he will draw near to you. Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you and have mercy. May he turn his countenance into you and give you peace. Amen. this time cause you're not here to celebrate with me tears fill my eyes memories flood my mind as I place your ornament upon our tree although this year I have a broken heart me hope and joy as I remember where you are. You're with the Son of God. You're with the Prince of Peace. You're with the one we're celebrating. And that thought amazes me. Sometimes I still break down, craving that we're apart. But the sweet gift is known where you are you're with the son of god got your picture in a frame and a stocking with your name oh god knows it's been hard letting bring you back but I'll see you again and oh that thought is healing to my soul I'll miss making angels with you in the snow I guess instead you will be singing with them all around God's throne you're with the sun thought amazes me sometimes i still break down grieving that we're apart but the sweetest gift is knowing where you are cause you're with the son of god and i know the christmas season was your favorite time of year Love to help us decorate our tree But now that you're with Jesus Can't imagine how you feel
Cause he's the one who bled and died upon the tree for you and me You're with the Son of God You're with the Prince of Peace You're with the one who's celebrating And the thought amazes me Sometimes I still break down Grieving that we're apart But the sweetest gift is knowing where you are Yes, the sweetest gift is knowing where you are Yes, the sweetest gift is knowing you're in His arms You're with the Son of God